oh, Bly, get off that sink. You don't know where it's been. I have gone, now, wait a minute. I've gone back to my childhood. Did your mama, your dear, sweet old mama, mm -hmm. did she ever wash you in the kitchen sink when no, you were a baby? It, she washed me in the big galvanized steel tub. Oh, that was that later. Was Remember, that I came got a later. picture of that. Oh, yeah, but that came later yeah. in my life. When I was a baby, I was washed in the kitchen sink. Well, I might have been too. Until I was about 16 or 17, <laughs> as I recall. And they had to put in a double C. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have so many things I want to say about that. Welcome to Cooking Cheap. It's nice to oh, see you. Oh, we're so glad to see you. Come on in. I see you're just winging it. Oh, yeah. Well, today. let's get, let, oh, give me a winging break. Let's it. get the witch in here right away and see uh, where we got. Boom. Where is she? <laughs> Where? Here it is. Oh, okay. See where we got the idea for this show. Oh, you almost put out Doris's <laughs> <I know>. eye. <laughs> poor Doris. Uh -huh, poor Doris. Is indeed. my toupee on? I, I had no, forgot to adjust my toupee before. I think I you need to call David Letterman and tell him okay. that uh, company that he's using down in, in, in Costa Rica is not doing a good job with toupees. <laughs> where, where'd you get it? Kmart? No, that's serious. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Dear Laban and Larry, we love your show and wonder if you could help us. We went to a party last night. When we woke up this morning, we were sick big time. Oh, no. They serve, Salmonella or something? No, they serve buffalo wings and margaritas. The wings were cooked in barbecue sauce and the margaritas cooked in us. We like wings, <laughs> but is there any other way to cook them? And what can we do with tequila? Thanks. Reverend and Mrs. Arbutus Lovejoy of Lynchburg, Virginia. Well, we have <laughs> Arbutus Lovejoy. I, I went to the post office box the other morning with my business, and there was a, a, a letter to Marty, my business partner, from a sales rep whose name was Michelle Lovemore. <laughs> but that was a great <laughs> a day. A wonderful day. Well, I don't want anyone to think that I have frittered away the station's hard-earned cash oh. buying all of this tequila, yes. because I don't think all of this is very much. This is is about enough for two recipes for what I have to do today. Okay. It really does have a little bit of tequila in it, and it's real good. Right. So anyway, and it's oh, mostly oh, all going to cook Which yeah. is, by the way, a margarita pie, a frozen margarita pie, and it looks to be stunning. Oh, I can't wait. Mm -hmm. And I'm doing teriyaki chicken wings that are actually not too bad for you. So I'll show you how to do them in a way that would be perfect, but this is not a perfect world. and. Most of you don't have the problems that us with bad hearts do, so we'll show you both ways to do it. And Grandmother Nudge has a wonderful recipe today also with chicken wings that you can uh, bake in a big pot. Grandmother who? Nudge. Nudge? Yeah, she's always uh. nudge. You didn't do it. <laughs> do it like this. You did All it right. wrong. All right, well now, Larry, let me show everybody what I've got to do, and then I I'll just start doing this, and you can go on what you bet. These are wings, and you have to cut them apart. They're in three sections. This is the tip. This is one drumette, and this is the other, and they have to be cut apart, which I will now do with a huge meat cleaver. Now, if you're real lucky, you'll have a store that has them already cut into drumette sizes, but you need about three pounds to do this. I so. used to be in the drumettes. So you just get rid of your frustrations. <laughs> Thing. And Don't some it. of your fingers, if you're not looking well, what anyway, you're doing. I'll now, I notice you throw the tip away. Well, you could use the tip in soup, but we're not cooking any soup anytime soon, so... All those tips not, gone to yeah, waste. that's right. <laughs> anyway, that's all I'm going to do for the next half hour, so you go ahead. <laughs> Let me give you a tip. Oh, oh, no, you've got one there. Okay, that's yeah, fine. Take a tip from me. This is interesting. This rest, I'm telling you, this is a, just a marvelous little dessert. It really is. This uh, frozen margarita pie. <laughs> and the first thing you do is, it sounds like a circus act is working in here. What's wrong Take with an entire act? stick of butter. It calls for real butter, guaranteed to slam your heart shut, honey. Mm. And if you want to, you can use margarine, but I'm using real butter because this is what it called for, and melt it. Just melt it, because you're going to meet, need it in a couple of minutes. Now, the first thing you have to do is, is to make the crust, and this has to be one of the more interesting crusts I have ever seen. Because this is a margarita pie, and as you know, when they serve margaritas, they always put that salt around the edge of it there, and that kind of gives it that little meh. Well, apparently, we try to attain the same thing with this frozen pie by using salted pretzels. And I have, you'll notice I have fat free. Of oh, course, the good. rest of this recipe is enough to kill you. <laughs> I was trying to make up for 
Laban, don't do that again. Oh, I will. You're making me real nervous. Ah! He sort of jumped a little bit that time when he did it. I'm trying to make up for that stick of butter by using this fat free. Now, I have, I think the best ones to get are these little itty bitty ones because they're easier to crunch up that way. Now, Miss Doris has another suggestion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we'll do that in a couple minutes, Doris. There is an easier way to do this, but it doesn't have quite the comedic value that this does. This is such a messy recipe. When you get it done, it'll you crunch it up real, real fine. You could probably do this, don't you reckon, Doris? You could probably do this in a food blender if you wanted to. You could. Or Doris has suggested yet another method, and it's called the beat the stuffings out of the bag method. And you can do that too, and that's probably, she's right, that's probably the fastest way to do it. Look at that. Just, oh. just taking it for a fair they will. So let's do that. You know what? I think that maybe that has more comedic value. Now, Doris, Doris got used to doing this with Harold. <laughs> so that's where she came up with the idea. So anyway, whatever it takes to get there, or you can roll it out delicately like I was trying to a while ago so it wouldn't make so much noise. You need a cup and a half of it, and that is, I discovered the other day when I made this recipe the first time, that is about a half a bag. Use the sticks because they do crunch up easier and finer. And for heaven's sakes, don't accidentally go out and get those soft ones. You'll be beating on those things for six months and nothing will come of it. So anyway, that's the first thing you gotta do. I don't need to do too much of this, this is ridiculous. I should have just rolled it out like I wanted to, but no, Doris had to have me do this. The noisiest, most irritating possible thing. Laban, do you have something to say? What? <laughs> do something. I can, how did we both end up with noisy recipes? Well, to start we weren't off supposed with. to. I was just going to roll it out. Oh. Miss Smarty Pants here mm -hmm. decides that this would be the funnier thing to do. Of course, she she doesn't take anything in the kitchen very seriously anymore. Have you noticed? No, that? I know. She's been around she us is too. Light, <laughs> she very used light. to be real serious in the kitchen. Now she's the original Miss Goofball. So anyway, enough of that. I'm not going to play with that for another five minutes of my life. Anyway, what you need is you need a cup and a half of that. So I've already got a half a cup from where I made it up the other day. And let's go on ahead and let's see. This is a half cup, so two of these would make uh, one cup. So anyway, let's uh, take that. See, that's pretty fine. It should be just a little bit it's fine. It's mighty now. fine. It is. Now, take the uh, entire stick of butter and pour it Woo. in there, like so. And it also calls for sugar. It's sort of a sweet and sour type of thing. Calls for a half a cup of, no, it calls for a quarter of a cup of sugar. Goes in there also. Quarter of a cup of sugar goes in there. And now you'll just mix that all around, and this is going to make a real nice crust. And also, you take a large pie plate and a slightly smaller one that fits inside it. Fortunately, I inherited old Toots' pie plates. I have uh -huh. billions of them. Almost had too few, mm -hmm. fewer ones this morning when I went out the door. And they flew from my head. And you will need to butter one up slightly, so I'll do that in a couple of seconds. All right. Well, while you're doing that, I'm going to make the sauce that goes with my wings. Oh, please. Now, you start, you need a third of a cup of lemon juice in Jeff Smith. Just drop dead, baby. He's, oh, no. he's always talking so bad about this kind of lemon juice, but I'll tell you, when the, I looked at the prices of lemons today and I need a third of a cup, I said, forget it. Well, it looks like lime juice to me. Mm -hmm. No, it's lemon. Oh, is it? And it's going to cook. Well, so mine it, is a lime because it looks like oh, a lime. <laughs> it's oh. one of these low-down things, but I didn't need very no, much. No, that's right. And why? And you're up? right. They're expensive, and why bother? Now, that's a third of a cup of lemon juice, and now I'm going to put in a quarter of a cup of ketchup. There it is, a quarter of a cup of ketchup. What a mess. Y yes, it is. Mm. Oh, oh, you mean yours. Yeah. Mm. Yes. Well there. And now I need two tablespoons of brown sugar. This is the same stuff that we recently used, and believe it or not, it's still reasonably soft. Is that a halfway cue, or are you just yawning? I'm just yawning. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> we have such a subtle staff. I know, they, they are. <laughs> I thought he was trying to tell me something. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, 
right. Well, anyway, I got some more stuff to go in here. Uh, do you want to work on yours for a little well, bit? Well, yeah, I got All something right. to do here just for about five or ten seconds. We'll just take, take just a little time. bit of butter and just sort of do this a little bit across the body. You don't want to overdo it, but anyway, there you go. Now, the next thing you do is you will take this and distribute it around Rat Smart. And the more you distribute it, the easier this is to do and the more sense it makes when you like get down to the real hoo-ha, which I'm going to do here in just a second. Now take your second plate like so and just kind of work it around. Squish it around there. Look at that. Well, you're just so smart. Well, anyway, that's about as good as this one. It's not totally distributed equally, as you can see. Mm -hmm. I'm a little bit off there. But anyway, it really makes well, a real fine because you crust. got too much over on this side. Now, well, if we just exactly took a knife what and I just said. put over there, you could... <laughs> well, we'll just do that if it makes you feel any better, well, Mr. No, Johnson. You can, you can I know how it upsets you. You know, I, I so... want you to be neat. <laughs> All right, let's try that again and see if we can get it so that it's a little more even this time. Not bad. Well, it's okay. It's not It'll as pretty do. as the one I did for the show today. Mm -hmm. Now, what you now will have to do is just let that chill a little bit. Put it in the refrigerator, let it chill, and uh, in a couple of minutes I'll show you the good stuff that goes into this before you put it in the freezer and freeze it. All right, now into mine, I've got lemon juice, ketchup, and, and brown sugar in there. Now I'm going to put in a half a cup, which is right smart, of soy sauce. And I want to tell you, I'm using light soy sauce because it doesn't have as much salt in it. And it's just, I think, generally better for you. Oh, yeah, like all these pretzels aren't going to kill us today. Yeah. <laughs> well, Go ahead. you know, I'm trying to uh -huh. do my best for the people. Power to the people. All right, now let's see. We, we need to put in a quarter of a teaspoon of garlic salt. Let me see if I can get the lid off this bad boy. I, I don't know why I leave these. Do you, do you take these off at home? Garlic powder. Once you're using garlic salt? <gasps> no, oh, I'm powder. using garlic powder. Don't get smart it with me. It says garlic powder right there. Not garlic salt, garlic she needs powder. needs glasses. No. Oh, she already has glasses. <laughs> oh, no, garlic powder. It, it was a figment of your vivid imagination, Doris. All right, now, uh, <laughs> okay, a quarter of a cup of vegetable oil, and this is of some unknown variety. What is this? Natural blend, <laughs> which includes also canola. All it's right, natural. so one quarter cup. There it goes, it's right a on in. And then uh, a half a teaspoon, which is, oh, Doris, you gave, I used a whole half a teaspoon of garlic powder. It won't be fit to eat. A half a teaspoon. <laughs> Let's blame Doris for this. Uh, How A half a teaspoon of pepper and, uh, oh, and the wings. Now, let's stir all this up real good. And then we're going to put the wings in them, and we're going to let them marinate in the sauce <laughs> for three hours. So we'll pretend. Anyway, Larry, take it away while I put the wings over here in the sauce. Just pile them on in. Okay. All right. Here's what we're going to do now. We're going to make this marvelous, marvelous filling that goes inside this frozen margarita pie, which consists of a third of a cup of lime juice. And this is one of those plastic limes. They grow on plastic trees. A third of a cup of that, which just ought about finish this little baby right off. And I'm sorry, but he was right. Buying enough of them to squeeze a third of a cup didn't want it, wasn't worth the price. It was much cheaper to do it this way, and I know a lot of people look down at these things real low down. The great thing is you can use them for a little, I don't know. And it's cheap. Them, throw them away. And that is our, our main name, cheap. A uh, 14 ounce can of concentrated milk, and I'm using actually condensed sweetened today because that's what I like to use on recipes like this because it is a dessert and it's our nice, real thick stuff. And we'll put that in there. Uh -huh. And two to four tablespoons of tequila. Dun, dun. Be careful, we don't have BMI SCAP rights to that. One, <laughs> two, three, four. Now, and a little bit for the staff party. <laughs> 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 
And believe me, ladies and gentlemen, that's about all this, this staff could handle. I tell you that right now. I don't keep tequila around my house because, you know, I'm just, uh, I don't believe in alcoholic beverages. And so I had to go out and buy this. Yeah, yeah. Mr. Johnson told me that you could buy these little tiny ones, and you can. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. I thought you'd yes. only get these on airlines, but not anymore. They actually sell them. This calls for orange-flavored liqueur. I did not have orange-flavored liqueur per se. However, I did have triple sec, which has lots of pictures of oranges on the front of it. Same I thing. Thought that was, say, it is. It really is. It's virtually the same thing. You can use triple sec or some kind of uh, orange-flavored liqueur. Two tablespoons. Go ahead. Now, you know with all this stuff, it's got to be oh, just Put a little wonderful. in for, for, for the baby. For the baby. Yeah. Just a wee little bit extra for the baby. So anyway, uh, well, that baby is growing. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> baby is growing all the time. And then, oh, well, mix this around just a little bit first and get that all mixed up real good. You want to read the recipe while I'm trying yes. to get this goop to go through this Let mess? Let me uh, read both of the, these, and then we'll bring uh, Miss Forbes. When I have with, something else to do for okay. Miss Forbes, Miss Forbes right. or whatever Well, anyway, the teriyaki wing dings from Kathleen Trexler of Chester, Virginia. Uh, call for a third of a cup of lemon juice, a quarter of a cup of ketchup, two tablespoons of brown sugar, a half a cup of soy sauce, one quarter teaspoon of garlic powder, quarter cup of vegetable oil, half a teaspoon of pepper, three pounds of chicken wings, cut at the joints, tips removed. You combine them all in the sauce and then we're gonna bake them in a little bit. Larry's margarita pie uh, was sent in by the same lady, Kathleen Trexler. And uh, matter of fact, uh, she, yeah, she did both of them. And he needs a cup and a half of crushed pretzels, a half a cup of butter, that's one stick, quarter cup of sugar, a third a cup of lime juice, one 14 ounce can of concentrated milk, and I believe Larry is right, that's the one with sweetened condensed. They don't have something yeah. called concentrated no, they don't. in the store. So this is a homemade kind of thing. Yeah. Two to four tablespoons of tequila, I think you need to put more in if you didn't two tablespoons of orange flavored liqueur and one cup of whipped cream. Well, let me go back and readjust. And speaking of a whipped cream, that's something else I decided I wasn't gonna make from scratch today. I just didn't have time, why bother? So what I'm doing is I'm using some ready-made stuff. And what you're gonna do is- Just a cup. Oh, excuse me. What you're gonna do is just fold that in there. All right? Fold that in there also. And while I'm folding and folding and folding, Miss Doris will come in and show you her okay. fine recipe. Recip come on come in on here, in, Doris, Doris, darling. How are you? It's been so long since I've seen you. How have you been? I'm just fine. And everybody that talks to us say, you guys pick on me too much, and they don't know why I take it. Because <laughs> <laughs> it took so long to make it, and she'll never uh. find that recipe again. <laughs> oh, oh. Okay. Go ahead. Um, the recipe I did today is from Gloria D. Huckabee from Corny Point, New Jersey. A uh, lady with that day was saying we don't mention New Jersey on the air, so this is one. I know. The station only has two microphones. What can I say? <laughs> <laughs> Just say it in here, whatever it is you say. Okay. I had to use 10 chicken wings, and I cut the tips off, too, because I think it's easy to brown. Four tablespoons of cooking oil, two cups of chopped onions, eight cloves of garlic chopped. Good heavens. <clears throat> yeah, I used that instant. Mm. You know, the ones that you had, they were already chopped in yeah. the thing. Mm -hmm. And two cups of raw rice, one tablespoon cumin, uh, where am I? a fourth a teaspoon of cayenne, uh, how do you say that? Cayenne pepper? Cayenne. Cayenne pepper. Four Cayenne's close enough. <laughs> She's My been in that religious part of the county <laughs> too long. Well. She's been to Canaan. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. Four and a half cups of chicken broth, salt and pepper to taste, and a half a cup of white wine. And you brown your chicken wings. Did and you, you put the wine in it? Yes. Because I know your aversion to alcohol. I know, and I bought the cheapest thing they had in the store, and it'll probably kill you. No, no. Cheap is good for <laughs> cooking. Mm, that's really that's what I did. I bought the cheapest one they had. And uh, you mix all the stuff together, brown your chicken wings, and then uh, saute your onion and garlic, and then just put it in a pot and let it cook. Now, I took it out while it still had a little moisture to it, but I made it hours ago. And uh, so um, it looks a little dry. It's starting to get down to the bottom. It's not too mm -hmm. bad. No, it's fine. But, um, it's fine. I like... Uh, it's not as dry as your right. <laughs> Being it's Raleigh, being Italian, I think instead of putting the, the cumin in it, you could put saffron. 
and mm -hmm. make it more of a resort uh, with the uh, well, with the Doris, how dare you bring on this expensive uh, well, natural you know, soul? Well, my yeah. dad bought this for my mother <laughs> years ago, and she absolutely refused to use it, so I got it. Okay. Well, yeah. thanks for coming by. <laughs> You're welcome. And uh, look both ways before crossing. Yes. I always say please and thank you. Now. Why? Vamos. <laughs> She's out of here. Okay, I've mixed all of this. What I've done is I've taken the uh, whipped cream and I've uh, folded it into this marvelous mixture. This is a wonderful recipe. So the next thing you do then is you just put it in there and you put it in the freezer at least two hours before you're going to serve it. Mine has been in the freezer for, oh, roughly three days. <laughs> I don't think we will ever be able to serve it today. But it is a nice, wonderful recipe. I'm telling you, that is just gorgeous. You'd be proud to serve it to anybody. Mm -hmm. What you got, Johnson? Well, now, what I've done, we're pretending these wings have marinated in this bowl for three hours. They really haven't, and we'll put them back in here. Then you're going to bake them for about 30 minutes at 375 degrees, and about halfway through, you need to baste it with the marinade. Now, let me tell you something about chicken health here, folks. You don't want to use the marinade after about 15 minutes because it might not cook enough, and since this is raw chicken, which we all know, unfortunately, uh, might possibly be contaminated uh, with something that would give you uh, a stomach ache, we recommend that you very carefully avoid messing around with the raw chicken or the marinade after uh, the stuff is cooked. In other words, baste it one time with the marinade when there's still at least 15 minutes to go and you might probably be okay. Otherwise, be careful. Can we go taste it? I think we can in just a minute. Now, you bake that baste it and they'll be done in about a half an hour at 375 degrees, a little hotter than you usually bake at. Well, let's go over here and try and see what it's like. Well, I'm just dying to get my fingers in this pie. Oh, here, well, let me give you some of Doris's all right, stuff. And, and let me give you a wing. Well, there's no delicate way to get this out no, of there. Just do it. Well, okay, there we go. Mm -hmm. But the important thing is, let me see if I got this pie. Oh, <laughs> oh it has thawed a little bit. And that's, oh, isn't yes. this beautiful? This is the pretty one. The well, nice now let's crust, see if you can get it out. This perfect crust. But you know, it's thawed a little more than it uh -huh. should ought to have. And this crust is just going all the blazes. Well, okay. Oh, it came How right out. Sakes, it, How wonderful. There we go. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll get myself a little piece of it also. I want some Go on pie. ahead and try that I pie. I want some pie. Well, I have destroyed that piece totally. It looks a little crumbly to me. I think it could have used a little more butter. What do you mm. think of that pie? Mm. Isn't Tasty. that fabulous? Mm -hmm. It really is. Well, let mm. me try one of these little wings. <laughs> it's just wonderful. <laughs> that tequila always has worked on me. <laughs> Ooh, these second wings are wonderful. Mm, I love it. You know, yesterday, I'm trying to miss I, Doris's rags. I was at church. It was my church's 105th anniversary, mm -hmm. and they had a great big old lunch and everything. And you know, I swear I believe they would have loved this, <laughs> this pie. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Probably so. Well, let me. Doris, that that rice is real fine. It really is. I want to try one of these chicken wings and see if they're any good. Well, you would hardly believe there was all that stuff in the tequila pie, but it mm. is real good. It, and it does that, that little crust, that stuff, what is it, uh, pretzels, uh, really, Ooh. that little salty, Doris, oh, that's wonderful. Your chicken is great. My wings are very good, I mm -hmm. think, if I do say so myself. I think it's a nice meal, really. And this is a good dessert with these chicken wings because, mm -hmm. you know, they're a little spicy. Be perfect for a Super Bowl party or a World Series party. Mm-hmm. Mm. And good thing I like about them is they're not so spicy that they burn you and hurt your face. And if you can get the pre-cut little chicken drumettes so that you don't have to cut them, this recipe is so easy any fool could do it, mm -hmm. including Larry. I was in the chicken drumettes when I was a child. Were you? Uh-huh. I bet you were cool. cute with that baton and that... Mm -hmm. Well, this is all wonderful, 
And uh, Doris, I think this this is this rice is real fine. I don't think it's too dry. Mm -mm. It's delicious. It's wonderful. Well, I hope you enjoyed it today, and come on back next time. We want to see you around. Bye. And uh, come back again maybe the time after that. <laughs> you know, if you want to come back even a couple of weeks later. You know, well, heck, we'll be here for like 16 more weeks, mm. I think. <laughs>